One of the most difficult things in life can be freeing someone that we love, freeing a child to make their own mistakes or their own victories and successes, allowing them to move away, allowing them not to be with you under the shelter of your arms every second. How about for husbands and wives or even friends? Do you free others? Now, I know that you want to be freed to have your own path. You don't want to live someone else's life. You don't want them to live through you. No, you have a purpose. You have a divine design. You have a reason for being, and that reason for being is to be you. And that is true of all the others in our lives. Quite often, a good relationship with someone we love is weakened because of our lack of willingness to release that person to experience her or his own lifestyle. Husbands and wives, parents and children, and often good friends are alienated because of a feeling of being stifled. If there are persons with whom you would like to improve relations, practice the fine art. And it is a fine art. It's hard to do, I admit. But it is real love when you do this. The fine art of letting them know you care, but at the same time, releasing them to their own life experience. I pray that you have the strength to do this, that you have the strength to know that you can't lose your own, that you have the strength to know that you're all stronger when each individually lives her or his life in the highest possible way. Now, I know that your desire for others that you love is for their happiness. Well, I pray that you are a high spiritual soul that allows others the freedom to live her or his own life. God bless you, and you'll find that you're all stronger because of it as you go forward in life with smiles on your face, feeling fulfilled in your soul, and the happiness that will come forth from that. There is nothing better in body language than a soul smiling through that body, feeling fulfilled. God bless you.